Good evening, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome into the Hopkinton High School Athletic Center for Hopkinton Hillers Boys Varsity Basketball on HCAM. As today, the five and two Hopkinton Hillers take on four and four Medway Mustangs in a cross TVL showdown. It should be a good battle between these two teams tonight. The Hopkinton Hillers at the top of the TVL larger towards the top. Medway Mustangs towards the top of the TVL small and whenever these two teams meet up it's an absolute showdown and we are expecting the same thing here tonight the Hiller boys are red hot as they have won their last three games looking for number four in a row here today Medway has lost their last two looking to get back in the win column so we shall see what will happen here today and right now we will send it down to courtside for the introduction And there you have it, the introductions and the national anthem. 
And while we have a moment, let's take a look at the TVL standings. We'll start off with the TVL large. Westwood in first place, seven and one, ranked 10th in Division Two. Hopkinton, five and two, ranked 11th in Division Two. Medfield, five and two, ranked fourth in Division Three. Norwood, five and three, ranked 26th in Division Two. Ashland, three and five, ranked 52nd in Division Two. Houston, 0 and eight, ranked 59th in Division Two. We'll get you the TVL small in a few minutes, but right now we are ready for the opening tip. Anthony DeLuca in the center circle up against Jack Gould. Old. The Hopkinton Hillers in their home white jerseys, Medway in their away navy blues, and Medway starts off with possession, working right to left across your screen. McNamara kicks it out to White. White with a pair of defenders on him, having a little trouble, gets it away, ball knocked away, and a turnover for the Hillers. Pantera to the rack, count it. Nice way to start for the Hillers, getting the turnover. Defensive pressure right off the bat, and now they're going to press. Taking it up court is Reisman. He sends it over to the corner. And that's what the Hillers like to do. Press early, a lot of defensive pressure early. Try to catch the opponent off guard. Ball knocked out of bounds. It'll stay with Medway. Tom Nappy, happy to be on the call with you today. Our crew, Mike Tarosian, Mary Arnott, John Ritz. The A-team crew on today as White coming in from the wing up with the underhand lay-in, no good. DeLuca gets the rebound, sends it over, and now Pantera for three, count it! Sam Pantera with a quick five points. Jack White taking it up for Medway. Up against White, it's Ionelli. White gets around the defender, puts it up, no good. Rebound to Dejan. A behind-the-back dribble for Willitson as he fires into the corner. Pantera into the paint. Up for the shot, drawing the foul is Dadejian, the junior, heading to the line. Good start for the Hillers. TVL small standings. Dover Sherborne 5-4, ranked 18th in Division Three. Bellingham 5-4, ranked 23rd in Division Three. Medway 4-4, four four, ranked 14th in Division Three. And then you got Norton, 4-4, four four, ranked 38th in Division Three, as the first free throw is good. Millis, 4-4, four four, ranked 23rd in Division Four, And Dedham, 2-5, ranked 43rd in Division Three. Second free throw for Dedasian. Count it. Hillers up 7-0. Good start for the Hillers. This is a win they would really like to take. And ball knocked away by Pantera, gathered up by McNamara. Brendan McNamara gets it up to Gould. Gould fires it over, up for the shot, and in, plus the foul is Jacob White. Will they wave off the shot here or count it? Let's see. It looks like they will indeed count it. It'll be an and one for White. Jacob White, a sophomore for Medway. A good crowd on hand here today. Misses the and one, here comes the Hillers. Ionelli along the near side. Adesian up top. Down the lane he goes. Looking for Pantera. It's batted away and taken away. Good turnover for Medway. Reisman got the hand in there. Along the end line, firing it to the wing. Gathered up by McNamara. Now it's knocked away by Pantera. Battle for it. DeLuca picks it up. Trying to fire it over. Stolen back by a Mustang and drawing the foul. Caden Reisman. Another good steal for Reisman. And he'll draw the contact. He's heading to the line. Second team foul for the Hillers. They're going to get Cooper Willardson with that one. Caden Reisman, a senior captain for Medway. Hits the first. Medway Mustangs led by head coach Shane Jackson. The Hillers, of course, led by head coach Tom Keene. I believe this is the fifth year for Medway head coach Shane Jackson. Second free throw. No, falls out. Hillers have it. Pantera along the near side gets it over to Dadejian. Down the lane he goes. Pass the defender, can't finish. Rebound McNamara. Taking it up, Shiplock fires it to the corner, up for three, that's no good. Loose ball, collected by Ionelli, gets it out to Willardson. Well, that missed shot was by Parlin. 
Pantera driving in, draws contact. First team foul for Medway. Or make that the second team foul for Medway. They'll get McNamara with his first. On the entry, Anthony DeLuca. Gets it over. Around the perimeter they go. Willardson. Nearly lost his dribble, able to maintain. Gets it to Ionelli. Ionelli works it in from the wing. Up for the shot, yes! Nice job by Ionelli. Full court pressure by the Hillers. With it is Gould. Fires it over to White. White back to Gould. Gould off the glass and in. Back and forth we go. Three minutes in, a 9-5 game. Ionelli fires it across. Willardson up to Pantera. Back to Willardson, thought about it, driving in around the defender and was trying to, I believe, pass there, went off the hoop. Jacob White has it for Medway, coast to coast. Count it. Jacob White with his second field goal of the evening. Willardson fires it up the near side. Dejan for three, yes! Sam Dejan with a quick five points. Hiller's up by five. Full court pressure once again. And another turnover. Dejan up for the shot. No. Put back. Yes! Anthony DeLuca. White gets it into Parlin. Now to Gould. Up top, McNamara. Fires it over to Parlin. Driving down up with the left hand, no. Loose ball, picked up, and the shot put up, and Reisman drawing a foul. Okay, did Reisman getting in there on the low post. He's been good at those offensive rebounds. We'll get Sam Pantera with his first foul, team third for the Hillers. First free throw is good. Reisman two for three from the line. The senior captain set for the second free throw. Got it. Back to a five point game. Full court pressure by Medway. Willardson along the far side. Back to Ionelli. Ionelli fires it over to Dejan. Driving in, gets it over. With it is Del Ponte. Now up top, Ionelli. Up for the jumper. No good. Rebound Medway collected by Ruben Simon, who just recently hopped into the game. Reisman feeds it over to Gould. Gould going to take it down. Trying to work the defender, Marcinowski, and we have a foul. It's going to be the first on James Marcinowski. Team fourth on the Hillers. Well, whenever these two teams meet, it's a physical game. I don't expect anything less here tonight. First free throw, no good. The JV game between uh, Hopkinton and Medway was a fun one. Went down to the last seconds. The Hillers were down big. They were down by 10 with two and a half minutes left to go. They came all the way back, got within two, and ended up losing by two, 49 to 47. Medway gets the win in the JV game. No good, but it, nearly a Medway rebound, but Ruben couldn't hold on to it. Del Ponte over to Ionelli. Up top now is the Dejan. Surrounded by defenders, it's stripped away, picks it back up. The Dejan with three defenders around him and will get a jump ball. Possession arrow in favor of the Hillers. The Hopkinton girls are over in Medway tonight for a big showdown. Hopkinton girls and Medway girls, both six and two. We'll try to get you an update from Medway when we can. Willardson trying to feed Marcinowski off a defender and out. Sam Pantera coming back into the game. 
He'll give Dadejan a breather. Marzanowski over to Willitson up top. Ionelli for three. No good off the back iron. Loose ball collected by Shiplock and the Mustangs. Simon gets it over to White. White calling it out. Now to the corner, Simon trying to work the defender. Fires it over. Shiplock with it. Gets it back out to White. A nice feed there. Can't finish. Ball batted out of bounds. It was Brady Gerard on the shot. It was a nice pass to Gerard coming down the lane, but Medway can't finish there. Pantera long shot up court towards Del Ponte. A risky pass, but knocked out of bounds by Medway as McNamara gets the hand in there. Del Ponte on the inbound. Here's Ionelli. Gets it back to Del Ponte for three. Oh, it falls out. Rebound McNamara. White will take it up. Pick and roll here for Medway. And looking for the shot. What a block by Marcinowski. Pantera up the near side. Takes it down. And that's kicked by a defender. Hillers will have the inbound. We're going to have a timeout. It looks like with 2.04 left to go. Or just actually a handful of substitutions. A line change, if you will. Mike, there's no scoreboard on Hillers working along the perimeter. Dejan up for the floater. No good. And a rebound by Reisman. Ooh, a little push there. They're going to get Del Ponte. Medway in the bonus. They go quarter by quarter with fouls now. Newly implemented this season. It has really made these games a lot smoother and worked out for the better. The captain, Caden Reisman, at the line for his third time tonight. Hits the first. He is four for five from the strike. Second free throw. Got it. Five for six. Only three field goals for Medway, but they've gotten a whole lot of free throws. Three-point Hiller lead. Marcinowski on the entry. Here goes Ionelli. Ionelli feeds it over to Luca. Dedasian taking it in from the wing. Squeezes through the defenders up with the reverse. Oh, they're going to get him with a charge. That could have went either way there. That's his second foul. Gould gets it over to Reisman. Coming in up with the hook. Count it. I'll tell you, Caleb Reisman's going to be the guy to look out for, or Caden Reisman's going to be the guy to look out for if you're the Hillers. He is quick. Ionelli to Pantera. Fires it to the left wing to Dedejan. Now along the corner, Marcinowski along the baseline through the defenders, and he's going to be called for the travel. Well, he had that little up down there. And the official not going to miss that one. Catilli on the entry. Over to Gould. Catilli taking it up. Christian Catilli, a sophomore for Medway. Hands it back to Reisman. A minute left in the first quarter. It has been an action-packed first quarter. Driving down, goal down the lane, off the window, no good. Rebound, Narcissi. And the ball batted out of bounds. It'll stay with Medway. Getting a hand on it was DeLuca. Reisman on the entry. Over to the corner, that is Parlin. 
Launches the three, no good. It is a Medway rebound. A good block there. Secondary attempt, count it. Jack Gould able to strike. The Mustangs have a one point lead. And Ellie taking it up over to Marcinowski. Back to the wing, long three, Pantera, yes! Sam Pantera knocking down his second three of the game. He has eight points. Narcissi with it. Gets it over to Reisman. And we're gonna get a timeout call by the Mustangs. 14.9 seconds left to go, a 17 to 15 Hiller lead. And it's been a great back and forth first quarter. You're getting a little of everything. Some good offense, some great defense, some crazy turnovers. A good start to this TVL matchup. And a great crowd on hand to take this game in. They're certainly getting their money's worth here tonight. And this is a matchup that typically goes down to the wire. The Hillers have gotten the best out of Medway in recent history. The Hillers have won four of the last five matchups against the Mustangs. Or actually, correction, Hopkins and Medway have actually split the last six matchups. Medway. Medway this season has won uh, four of their last five games. Along the far side ball, batted away. And it is going to be a jump ball call. Possession arrow in favor of Medway. So it's been kind of back and forth in this rivalry. Hillers have won the last two against Medway. But before that, it was a whole lot of Medway wins. Reisman long three. Air ball, and that'll do it for the quarter. At the end of the first quarter, it's the Hopkinton Hillers 17, the Medway Mustangs 15. We got a good one here on HCAM. You are tuned in to Hopkinton Hillers Boys Varsity Basketball on HCAM. Welcome back into the Hopkinton High School Athletic Center. We are ready for the second quarter, a 17 to 15 Hiller lead as we enter the second frame. Point scoring for Medway, Jacob White with four, Jack Gould with four points, Caden Reisman with a team leading seven. For the Hiller, Sam Pantera with a team leading eight points, Jack Ionelli with two, Dejan with five, DeLuca with two. Hillers with possession, Dejan. Gets it over to Willidson now along the corner. Fired into Pantera up for the shot, draws the contact. Good feed from DeLuca. That's going to be the second foul of the game on McNamara. And Tara on the first of two hits. TVL update for you. In girls basketball, Medfield defeated Millis 59 to 24. Medfield girls in first place, an eight and one overall record. Pantera hits the second free throw. 
We'll get you some TVL updates throughout the course of the night. A lot of big games tonight here on this Friday. Jammed up along the short corner is Simon, able to get it away. Now up top, Parlin, and he knocks it down. Able to hit the three, it's a one point game. Along the corner, Del Ponte, he'll fire it over to Willardson. Now to DeLuca. No, it falls out. Medway rebound collected by Parlin. Here comes White. Back to Parlin, up for three. And it's going to rattle around, and Pantera pulls it down. Willardson nearly lost his dribble. Good job maintaining. Nice feed of Dejan Pantera to the corner. Hiller's passing, looking very crisp tonight. DeLuca for three, no. Pulled down by Gould. Reisman fires it up. Driving in, Simon gets it up top. Gould, Gould taking it down. Turnaround jumper, no good. Pulled down by DeLuca. Willardson, Pantera, back to Willardson for three. No. Rebound, Simon. Well, maybe both teams going a little bit cold here. They were both pretty hot in that first quarter. Up for the shot and in goes Matt Parlin, who proves me wrong. Dead Asian surrounded by defenders, and Medway gets the turnover. Well, the Mustangs doing a good job at trapping, drawing the turnovers, but the Hailer's going to get it back. Pantera knocks it away. Great job by Pantera. Pantera fires it across to Dejan. And he didn't land. He ended up uh, out of bounds, but he never landed before throwing that back in. Oh, it was a timeout call. Good timeout call there by Coach Keene. 5.53 left to go in the second quarter. It's Medway 20, the Hillers 19, back and forth battle. Another TVL update for you in girls basketball. Westwood is leading Dedham at the half, 25 to 23. And we have a Medway Hopkinton girls update at the half. Medway leading Hopkinton, 34 to 17. So the Hiller girls have some work to do to get back into that game. It's a matchup of the six and twos over at Medway High School. And a boys update for you, Dover Sherborne leading Holliston, 17 to 16. That was at the end of the first quarter. Great crowd on hand here tonight to take in the action. Good amount of Medway folks made the journey out as well. Great atmosphere for this Friday night. And don't forget folks, we have Hiller girls hockey tomorrow afternoon. A 1 p.m. game as the Hillers take on Ursuline Academy. A 1 p.m. puck drop from the New England Sports Center. On the entry for Medway, Brady Gerard. Parlin taking it up. And it's going to be Hiller ball. We're going to have a foul here, an offensive foul, some body contact. They're going to get Gerard with his first. Willardson to Ionelli. Back to Willardson. Out of the corner. Not sure what that was about. Del Ponte on the entry. Here's Ionelli. To Willardson. And Ellie taking it in. Up top, Hiller's gonna move it around the perimeter to Dejan. Back to Willinson and some contact there by Simon. We'll get Ruben Simon with his first foul. Team third for Medway. Hiller's with no foul so far in this second quarter. Logan Del Ponte on the entry. Into Ionelli. Ionelli down the lane, over to the corner to Dejan. No good, it was a little short. Rebound by Gerard. Here come the Mustangs, Parlin feeds it up. Back to Parlin from White. Over to the left side, short corner. Now to Mielli. 
Back to Simon driving in, trying to get it underneath, and he overthrew his intended target, Matt Parlin. Well, good defense by the Hillers. They're playing some tight man-to-man, -man and it's paying off. The Hillers, they have switched up the defense a whole lot in this first half to create confusion. They'll continue to do so. Willits into the corner. DeLuca feeds it out. Ionelli, good bounce pass there, but Del Ponte can't finish. Rebound by Gould. Taking it up, White. White being watched by Del Ponte, gets it into the paint. Up from the block, and no good is Parlin. Here comes Willardson, feeds it over. Kadeja, nice feed of DeLuca who finishes. Anthony DeLuca with his second field goal of the evening. Hiller's back up by one. Parlin with it. Up against Willardson, gets it over to White. White lost the dribble and recovered by Del Ponte and the Hillers. Here comes Ionelli, feeds it underneath, and Dejan puts it in. Seven points for Sam Dejan. White with it. Bounces it over to Gould, now underneath to Mielli. And Mielli can't finish. We're gonna have a... And they're going to say uh, on the rebound, Caden Reisman landed out of bounds. Hiller ball. Pantera gets it in Ionelli now along the corner. Del Ponte trying to fire it across, and it's taken away by Reisman. Down the lane he goes, feeds it over, up and in. Christian Chiplock. Ionelli behind the back dribble. Feeds it to Willitson, now Pantera along the corner, drives baseline, great feed to Del Ponte, who lays it in off the fingertips. Hiller is back up by three. White. And it was nearly taken away by the Hillers. Del Ponte got a hand on it, Medway able to maintain, pass to the wing, and an air ball there by Haven Mielli. Another turnover for the Hillers. Ionelli taking it up. Over to Willitson, he goes now to the corner. That is DeLuca. And he's gonna draw an elbow. That is going to be against Haven Mielli. That's his first foul. Team fourth for Medway. Hiller still no fouls in this second quarter. That could be a huge advantage for him in these final few minutes of the first half. DeLuca, Pantera, out to Willardson. Ionelli now gets it back to Pantera, drives baseline, up, oh, that was sweet. Pantera laying it up around two defenders. Parlin with it. Parlin in trouble. Oh, they're gonna get uh, Willardson with a push. I actually don't like that call. That was all ball. He reached the hand out, but it was nothing but ball. That'll be the second foul on Willardson on the entry, Raceman. Into Gould. Hands it back over to Parlin. Parlin. Gets it back out, up, and no good there. Hillers have it off the missed Raceman shot. Here goes Ionelli. No, can't finish. Medway rebound, pulling it down, Gould. Good hustle there. Here comes Raceman. Down the lane, no good. Dedejan has it. Off the rebound, here he goes, coast to coast, and he'll draw the contact. Well, he uh, had two defenders in front of him, so he figured he'll 
jump up, try to pass. Maybe he was going to shoot, but he draws the contact. Exactly what he wanted there. Second time at the line tonight, and he hits the first. He's three for three from the strike. Make that four for four. Hiller is up by seven. They're getting some good momentum in these final minutes of the first half. Parlin gets it over. But as we've seen in this game so far, momentum can change at the blink of an eye between these two. Up and in with the reverse, Jack Gould. Ianelli over to Dejan. Down the lane, feeds it over, up and no good there. Grabs the rebound, Marcinowski for the putback. That's no good, batted in the air. And Pantera puts it back up, no good. Puts it up a third time, no good. Hiller still have it as it's collected by Cho. Dadeja driving in for the jumper and they get the bucket. Wow. My math isn't very good, but that's about seven or eight rebounds there for the Hillers. No good. Rebound, Narcissi puts it back, no good. Pantera pulls it down, feeds it over to Cho. Driving in around the defender, no good. Put back, will draw the foul. James Marcinowski is going to the line. The Hiller is starting to dominate in the low post. Marcinowski has his first point of the game. In for the Hillers, DeLuca. Kadejian going to take a breather. No good on the second attempt. Rebound Medways, White pulls it down. Jacob White trying to decide where to go. Setting the pick, Narcissi, he takes it now, feeds it over. And rejected by Marcinowski. Narcissi with the loose ball, but he overthrows his intended target along the far side, Jacob White. And the Hillers get the turnover. What a block by Marcinowski. Reisman was about to put it up, and Marcinowski said, get that out of here. Ionelli. Ionelli trying to work the defender. 20 seconds and counting left to go here in the first half. I think he wants the buzzer beater. Shot clock pretty much matches the game clock. Pantera. Oh, he lost it. Six seconds left here in the second quarter. Hiller is up by eight. Reisman on the entry. Gets it in along the far side of White. White steps back, takes the three. It rattles out, put back, yes! Matt Parlin with the buzzer beater. And that gives Medway a little bit of momentum heading into the halftime locker room, but they got outscored in that second quarter. 15 to 11, and at the halftime break, it's the Hopkinton Hillers 32, the Medway Mustangs 26. What a battle we have here at the Hopkinton High School Athletic Center. And we have a whole another half to go, so don't go anywhere. You are tuned in to Hopkinton Hillers Boys Varsity Basketball on HCAM. Welcome back into the Hopkinton High School Athletic Center. We are just about ready for the second half of this cross-TVL matchup between the Hopkinton Hillers and the Medway Mustangs. 
as we enter the second half. It is the Hillers leading Medway 32 to 26. Well, over at Medway High School, it is a matchup of the six and two Hiller girls and the six and two Lady Mustangs. And after three quarters of play, Medway girls are leading the Hiller girls 45 to 26. But back to this game we have here. It was a very entertaining first half. Both teams uh, had some good momentum at different moments throughout the course of the first two quarters. But it was the Hillers who came on strong in that second quarter, forced turnovers, knocked down some big shots, and took the lead in the final few minutes. Let's take a look at scoring totals so far in this game. For Medway, you got Christian Chiplock with two points, Jacob White with four, Jack Gould with six, Caden Reisman with seven, and Matt Parlin with seven. For the Hillers, Jack Ionelli with two, Sam Pantera, a team leading 12, Sam Dedejan 11, Logan Del Ponte with two, James Marcinowski with one, and Anthony DeLuca with four points. A good team effort by both sides. And this game, uh, we got a long way to go, so strap in, folks. It's going to be a great second half. Medway will start off with possession. They'll work right to left across your screen. Caden Reisman set for the entry. Well, the Hillers, they're one of the top scoring teams in the TVL. They average 70 points per game offensively, which is very impressive. They give up an average of 60. Medway averages 54 points per game, but they're more of a defensive team. They give up 52 points per game defensively. So we'll see uh, what method works in this battle we have here. White with it. Nice feed along the low post. No good on the turnaround lane by Parlin. The Hillers have it. Pantera taking it into the lane. He lost it. Collected by Parlin. Parlin feeds it over. With it is Gould. Gets it underneath. Around the defender and in goes Caden Reisman. He's up to nine points on the night. Willardson over to the corner. DeLuca up top. Pantera thought about it. Ionelli. Drives down, feeds Pantera. Pantera gonna take it in, and he draws the foul. That'll be against Jack Gould. Team first for Medway, second on Gould. Pantera's at the line for his second time tonight, and he is three for three. 13 points for the senior captain. And Pantera is rocking. 14 points on the night. Full court pressure by the Hillers, and there's going to be a foul. Some body contact there. And it's going to be against Willardson. That is his third. So he'll likely come out. And here he goes, Logan Del Ponte coming in back into the game. Brendan McNamara on the entry. Into Gould he goes. Gould lost it. Medway able to keep it as White was in the right place at the right time. Good feed underneath along the baseline, can't finish. Grabs his own rebound, McNamara. And McNamara got wrapped up, jump ball called. Possession arrow in favor of the Hillers. Good low post defense there. Well, the first quarter, the Hillers were a little overly aggressive. They got three very quick fouls and ended up uh, reaching the limit. Second quarter, a lot more conservative. What a sweet lay in there by DeLuca. Six points on the night for Anthony DeLuca. Hillers get the turnover. Pantera trying to feed it over. Medway gets it back as McNamara is there. Feeds it up and drawing the foul on the lay-in is Caden Reisman.
Team second for the Hillers. Well, Medway, they're trying to play a quicker offense, put the Hillers in a position where they have to be more physical and rack up those fouls. First of two, and he hits, despite the chair rattling going on by the Hiller faithful. Second of two, and he hits. Reisman having a good night, he has 11 points. Ionelli with it. Feeds it up top, Pantera thought about it, gonna take it down the lane, over the corner, Deja, now Del Ponte along the wing. Del Ponte looking for DeLuca, DeLuca, oh, can't keep it. Taken by Gold, who feeds it up, and then we're gonna have a foul. It's going to be a charge against the Hillers. Well, the Hillers were hoping that was going to go the other way, and it, it really could have gone either way. It was kind of simultaneous contact. But they'll get Ionelli with his first. Caden Reisman on the entry. Into Gould he goes. Pass a little off the mark, but McNamara able to corral it in. Trying to feed it back to Gould and DeLuca. Able to come up with the steal. Ionelli down the lane, lays it in. Jack Ionelli just flying by everybody. Tipped on the pass by Dadejian, but Medway keeps it. And a rejection, but a foul called on DeLuca. I don't know about that one. Looks like all ball, but Caleb Reisman draws the contact. Well, one thing Medway's doing really well is getting Reisman to the offensive lane very quickly and hitting him with those long passes. And Coach Keen gonna take a timeout. He might have caught on to something here. But the Hillers, uh, they're gonna have to get up court a little quicker and guard that lane. A 38 to 30 lead for the Hillers with 5.53 left to go in this third quarter. And that gives us a chance to let you know about some of the great Hiller action we have coming up next week here on HCAM. Of course, as I mentioned earlier, tomorrow afternoon at 1 p.m., Hopkinton Dover Sherborne Girls Co-op Hockey takes on Ursuline Academy at the New England Sports Center. And then on Tuesday, January 16th, the boys are back in town as Hiller Boys Basketball takes on Millis. 6.30 tip-off for that game. And also Hiller Swimming taking on Norwood that night. A 7 p.m. start time to the swim meet at Milford High School. Thursday, January 18th, Hiller Alpine Ski hits the slopes. That'll start at approximately 6.45. And then on Friday, January 19th, a big matchup for Hiller Girls Basketball as they take on a tough Bellingham team. Tip off for that game at 6.30 p.m. And don't forget, you can always catch the upcoming Hopkinton Hillers sports schedule on our website, hcam.tv. Free throws off the timeout for Reisman. Misses the first. He is seven for nine from the line. Make it eight for 10. Ionelli taking it up. Ionelli to the corner to Pantera. Back to Ionelli at the point. Pantera drives baseline, no, can't finish. Pulled down by White. White gets it over, driving in, chip lock. Out to Simon, who takes the shot. That's no good. And we have a loose ball foul. It is going to be against Medway. That's the team's second. First foul of the evening for Christian Chiplock. Jack Ionelli trying to work it up the court. Ionelli up against Simon. Gets it over to Del Ponte. 
Del Ponte trying to fire it back out as he was surrounded with defenders. Simon gets the turnover. Good feed underneath, up and in goes Caden Reisman. Reisman just always seems to be in the right place at the right time. Pantera along the top. Dadejian coming in from the corner. Del Ponte back out to Ionelli. Through the defenders, up with the reverse, no. Collected by Gould. White gets it over. And an errant pass there in the direction of Ruben Simon. Miscommunication, I think, between Caden Reisman and Ruben Simon. Five point Hiller lead, 440 left to go in this third quarter. Well, I can tell you one thing, it does look like that it doesn't look like the Hillers are likely gonna hit 70 points tonight. This game's certainly a little bit more of a defensive affair, as you would expect from a good defending team like Medway. Del Ponte for three, count it! Well, maybe if they keep knocking them down from three-point land, they'll reach 70. Full court pressure by the Hillers. Reisman feeds it over to Simon, up from the block, no good. Pulled down by DeLuca. DeLuca surrounded by defenders, able to get out of the jam. Ball swatted out of bounds, off of Gould, Hiller inbound. Ianelli will slowly take it down. And we're gonna have a 10 second violation. Coach Keen and Ianelli don't like the call. Now the officials are gonna discuss it. It looks, well they're pointing all kinds of directions right now. All right. It, well, Medway just made a handful of substitutions. It's going to stay with the Hillers. Ionelli. Taking it down, feeds it out to Dejan. Up for the jumper. No, I think a defender got a piece of it. Collected by Parlin. The travel against Parlin. Hiller ball. We have a TVL update. Medfield girls defeated Millis 59 to 24. And we're gonna get a timeout called with 344 left to go. Hillers lead it 41 to 33 and momentum starting to tip back towards the Hillers. Medway timeout. Thank you to our director, Mike Terosian for the correction. It's not often he gets to correct me. We have a final from Medway High School. Medway defeated the Lady Hillers 51 to 36. Medway improves to seven and two. The Hiller girls fall to six and three. So a tough loss for the Hiller girls, but they'll have an opportunity to get back in the win column. And they are expected to rack up many more wins this season. Team looking fantastic. And speaking of that, this Wednesday on HCAM Sports Talk, you can catch our interview with Hiller Girls head coach, Mike Greco. And actually right now, you can catch it, the interview over on our website, uh, hcam.tv. But a uh, nice conversation with Coach Greco as the Hiller Girls were heading out to Bedway today. Of course, HCAM Sports Talk, every Wednesday on HCAM at 5.30 p.m. Keeping you up to date on local high school, college, and professional sports. Hillers with the ball off the timeout. Ionelli gets it across. Pantera for three. No good. Collected by Medway as Parlin pulls it down. Parlin up against El Ponte coming up the far side. Over to the corner and we have some contact. It appears we do. They're gonna get Del Ponte with a push. That's his second foul, team fifth for the Hillers. They have reached the limit. 
Heading to the line is Derwin Narcissi. The senior forward at the line for his first time tonight. Hits the first. Well, free throws could be huge here for Medway and allow them to get right back in this game. Medway with only two team fouls, Ailers with five. Narcissi on the second, no good. Pulled down by Marcinowski. Willardson with it. Gets it over to Del Ponte. Back to Willardson. Del Ponte. Willardson now to the corner. DeLuca feeds it in. Marcinowski up, no good. And it's pulled down by Marcinowski. Put back, count it, plus the foul. And and one opportunity for James Marcinowski, the tall junior. I think you're going to see a lot of Marcinowski in the second half. He can certainly be very useful in the low post. The and one is good. Marcinowski with four points tonight. Full court pressure by the Hillers. McNamara with it. Feeds it up. Now to the corner. Reisman thought about it. White trying to take it in. Running out of 20 seconds left on the shot clock. With it is Gould, gets it up top, White. Medway having a little bit of trouble here finding a seam. Up for the jumper, no good. Pulled down by Marcinowski off the missed Gould shot. And here goes Willinson to the rack. And we're gonna have a foul. It's actually gonna be a charge against Willinson. That'll be his fourth. And he's coming back out. Jack Ionelli back into the game. Full court pressure by the Hillers, as expected. Parlin trying to get it back over, nearly taken away by Dedasian, but he ends up knocking it out of bounds. Some quick hands there. Reisman on the entry. Into Gould. Gould trying to shake the defenders. Gets wrapped up with Marcinowski. And we get the jump ball call. It'll stay with Medway. Reisman on the inbound. In the lane, up, no good. Batted out of bounds. It'll stay with Medway. As Jack Gould on the shot, couldn't finish. But Medway will have another opportunity. 2.09 left to go, Hiller's up by 10. Trying to slip away and take the victory. Up for three, no good. It is going to stay with Medway as Gould able to collect off the Miss White shot. And we'll have a elbow call against the Hillers. Medway heading to the line as James Marcinowski picked up his second foul of the evening. Gould hits the first. Jack Gould, a senior, he has seven points so far tonight. Now he has eight. Ionelli taking it up. Two minutes and counting left to go in the third quarter. Del Ponte back to Ionelli. Feeds the corner to Dejan now to Del Ponte for three. Oh, it rattles out. Collected by Reisman. Reisman feeds the lane. Up for the fadeaway and no good is Gould. Hillers have it. Good feed from DeLuca. Ionelli to the rack, count it. Full court pressure by the Hillers. Parlin driving in, and he finishes. 
Nice response by Medway. Ionelli. Down the lane, up for the shot, no. Ball batted around, and let's see what they rule here. It'll be Medway ball. Well, correction, it's Hiller. It'll be Hiller ball. All kinds of confusion out there. Dedasian on the entry, over to DeLuca. Up top, Ionelli, feeds it back to Dedasian. Looking to drive in, lost it. Collected by McNamara. McNamara takes it to the rack, can't finish. Pantera grabs the rebound. Errant pass over to Ionelli. Ionelli was arguing that a Mustang touched it. Ruben Simon on the entry. Nice give and go, up with the reverse, and he finishes. Beauty of a give and go between Simon and Gould. Ionelli. Down the lane, yes! Check Ionelli, just so good, sneaking by defenders right down the lane. Medway trying to respond, no! Kept in play, but the Hillers collect. It was good hustle by Parlin, but no one there for Medway. Ionelli knocks down a three. Jack Ionelli trying to put the Mustangs away early. Knocked out of bounds off a pillar, I believe. They will indeed stay with Medway. It's just tremendous defense tonight by the Hillers. And typically, they're known more for their offense, but they also uh, have some great defensive skills as well. Down the lane, no good is Gould, but we have a foul. Well, the Hillers are doing a great job at winning those battles in the low post. They're certainly winning the rebound battle. And they are not giving Medway much space to work with at all. And the first free throw by Jack Gould is no good. He's two for five from the line tonight. Eight points overall for the senior. Derwin Narcissi back into the game. No good on the second, collected by DeLuca. Here comes the Hillers. quick pass, Ionelli just waiting in the lane, and he puts it up and in. And what a way to go into the fourth quarter. The Hillers with their biggest lead of the night. They're up by 13, 53 to 40. Well, that third quarter, it started off in favor of Medway, but the Hillers ended up dominating in the final few minutes and outscored Medway in the third, 21 to 14. It's a 53 to 40 Hiller lead as we head to the fourth quarter on H Camp. Welcome back in to the Hopkinton High School Athletic Center. We are just about ready for the fourth quarter. And as we enter the fourth quarter, it is the Hillers leading 53 to 40. A great finish to that third quarter. The Hillers got in foul trouble early, but then they forced some tremendous turnovers, worked the low post. Jack Ionelli took the offense, threw it on his back, knocked down four twos in the quarter as well as a shot from three-point land. And let's take a look at the scoring totals as we enter the fourth quarter. 
for the Hillers. Jack Ainelli, 13 points. Sam Pantera, 14. Dedejan with 11. Del Ponte with five. Marcinowski with four. DeLuca with six. We'll get you Medway's total when we have a chance. Dedejan, count it! He has 13 points overall. The Mustangs would like to get some kind of rally going here. They're struggling from the field. Up for three, and that's a good way to start. Knocking it down is Reisman. He now has 17 points on the night. Team leading 17. Also for Medway, you got Gould with eight. As the Hillers work it around. Ionelli driving in. No good. Swatted back to Cho. Cho, count it. He's in the scorebooks for his first time tonight. Full court pressure by the Hillers. Ruben Simon with two points for the Mustangs and uh, also Parlin with nine. Rejected. What a block underneath by Pantera as Reisman was trying to lay it in. Was called out on the Hillers. Reisman on the entry over to the short corner. No good on the shot by Gould, collected by McNamara. Feeds it in, up with the hook shot from the block is Reisman, no good. Out of bounds off of Medway. DeLuca on the entry, Ionelli will take it up. Feeds it to Cho, Cho, nice pass to Dedasian. Back to DeLuca, driving in to Pantera. They're gonna work the perimeter. Ionelli for three. No good off the front of the rim. Rebound by Gould. Well, that's the thing that makes this Hiller team just so effective. At any point, they could get anyone on their bench in there and they could have an immediate impact. Just a very deep roster for Coach Keene. Underneath, off the window and in, Jack Gould. He has 10 points tonight. For three, Pantera, no, rattles out. Cho battling for it, DeLuca rejected. Loose ball collected by White. White down the lane, lost it, stripped away by Dedasian. Dedasian trying to feed the far side, stolen away by Reisman, and did we have a Hiller timeout before Reisman stole that, or did he step out? Looks like we had a timeout call by Coach Keene just in the nick of time. So erase the steal there. 5.48 left to go. The Hiller is up by 12, 57 to 45. Looking for their sixth win of the season, but still quite a ways to go in this one. It has been an action-packed game as you would expect in this tremendous Hopkinton-Medway rivalry. I'm not gonna lie, folks, I marked that Hopkinton-Medway game on my calendar, especially in basketball, it's always a good one. We'll try to get you some other uh, TVL scores. Many big games going on, we mentioned this one earlier, but we'll mention it again. Medway girls got the win over the Hillers, 51 to 36. Medway girls now seven and two, the Hillers fall to six and three. And that snaps a six game winning streak for the Hiller girls. Can't win them all, but I'm sure they will bounce back strong. Boys basketball update, Westwood leads Dedham 49 to 27. And in case you missed it, a tremendous JV finish prior to this game as the Hillers were trailing by 10, got within two but unfortunately ended up falling by two, 49 to 47 in favor of Medway. Another varsity update for you, boys basketball, Norwood defeated Bellingham 69 to 54. Off the timeout, full court pressure by Medway. Ionelli to Willardson. Trying to get it back to Ionelli, it's stolen away by Simon, quick break, and he finishes. Four points for Ruben Simon. Ionelli along the far side. Gets it over to DeLuca, and now a three attempt by Del Ponte, no good. Battle for it, and Jack White is going to come out with it. White feeds it over. 
Driving in, Parlin, no, rattles out, put back, will draw the foul. Jack Gold on the put back, he's heading to the line. Well, a lot of time left, 10 point game. Not even close to over. Hiller's gotta keep their foot on the gas. And he hits the first of two free throws. And we'll get a timeout. 5.14 left to go here in regulation. It is a nine point Hiller lead. Well, Millis and Medfield had an exciting game tonight. Millis boys and Medfield went down to the final second. Right now, it looks like well, the last update that we received, 9.3 seconds remaining. Millis led 53 to 51. So we'll try to get you a final on that game as Millis was seeking an upset over a very talented Medfield team. And here's the final. Medfield ended up coming away with the 53 to 51 win. Luke Lisiandra led the Medfield Warriors with 20 points in the victory. Medfield now is six and two on the season. Well, it is a very competitive TVL this season. And in the TVL large, you got four teams that are right at the top. TVL small, five of the six are right in there. It is going to be a fun season in the TVL. Gould for his second free throw. No good. So the timeout call iced him, and now Ionelli battling for the ball. And this is going to be a jump ball call. And Ionelli came up grabbing his arm. Tough battle. Uh, by Ionelli and Gould. But he is okay and ready to go. Possession arrow in favor of Medway. Ruben Simon on the entry. Into Gould. Back to Simon. Pump fake and a feed to White. White. Gets it over to the elbow to Gould. Gould for the jumper, no. Pulled down by Dedasian. Dedasian driving down out to Ionelli. Ionelli up top, Pantera down the lane. Nice feed to Marcinowski who pops it off the window and in. Six points for Marcinowski. Here comes Parlin. Over to Simon, drives baseline, feeds it out. Gould to the wing, up for three, and no good is Reisman, collected by Ionelli. Ionelli to Pantera, pops it across to Willidson. Up top, Ionelli driving down, rejected. Loose ball collected by Dedasian. Nice feed to Marcinowski, pump fakes, puts it up, draws the foul. What a job Marcinowski doing in the low post. Just knows what to do when he has a defender on him. And so good at those little pump fakes. Misses the first free throw, however. Two for four from the line. Make it two for five. Here comes Medway. Parlin. Gets it out over to Gould, who's trying to feed it over. Knocked out of bounds off a hustling to Dejan. 3.53 left to go. Medway is running out of time. Taylor's trying to hold the lead. Simon goes backcourt to White. 
White driving in. Nice pick set by Narcissi. Gets it over to Parlin, up no good. Batted in the air, Parlin pulls it down. Puts it up and in. And correction, that was Reisman. Caden Reisman drawing the and one. Reisman looking for his 20th point of the night with this and one attempt. And he gets it. Medway not going away anytime soon. Willardson over to Del Ponte. Full court pressure as you would expect at this point in the game from Medway. Marcinowski underneath to a wide open Pantera. And he finishes 16 points for Pantera. Well, you got to be aggressive on defense, but you can't leave that low post wide open. Simon trying to respond, no. The follow through, no good by Reisman. Battle for it. Pulled out by Dedasian. Dedasian down the lane. Count it! <laughs> Hillers with full court pressure. Simon underneath Narcissi. Gets it to Reisman now to the wing. Up for three and in. A big time bucket there by Matthew Parlin. Parlin with 12 points. That three bucket kept Medway in the game. A nine point Hiller lead with 2.55 left to go. Some good suspense in this one. And what a matchup it is between these two teams. Very even matchup, you might say. Two different styles, but. A lot of talent on both sides. And don't forget, tomorrow afternoon, we have our final game of the week. Hopkins and Dover Sherborne girls hockey up against Ursuline Academy at 1 p.m. Looking for their first win of the season. And believe it or not, Hopkins and Dover Sherborne girls hockey, if they can rack up a few wins, they might be able to sneak into the playoffs. But it has uh, been a tough run for them this season. A lot of talent on that team. And a lot of close finishes. But they uh, have a good chance to possibly get in the win column tomorrow. Killer boys basketball will be back here on Tuesday to take on a Good Millis team who's right in the thick of things in the TVL small. 6.30 p.m. tip off for that game. Full court pressure by Medway. Willitson to Ionelli. Pantera. Back to Ionelli. Did Asian. If you're the Hillers, you want to burn a little clock here. Don't rush to shoot unless you got a wide open opportunity. Here goes Pantera down the lane, and he draws the contact. That was a good job by Pantera. Didn't try to do too much, just took it down the lane, went up, hoped for the contact, and he got it. That is the fourth foul of the game on Jack Gould. Team second for Medway. Pantera hits the first of two. He's up to 17 points on the night. Second of two. Yes. Hillers back up by 11. White along the far side. Knocked out of bounds. It'll stay with Medway. The Mustangs, they... Uh, are probably going to go for the three buckets. And they will have to work quickly to get back into this one. Reisman driving down from the block. And the shot goes in, plus the foul. A big and one there for Caden Reisman. Well, Caden Reisman has taken the Mustang offense on his back. Oh. 
No good on the end one. Oh, Dadejian couldn't gather it up. Ends up going off his foot out of bounds. Kaden Reisman, 22 points for the Mustangs. The majority of them in this second half. He has kept them in this game, but now a mishandle by Parlin, and it's Hiller ball. Well, you're seeing aggressive, tight defense on both sides. And that's why you're getting a, a lot of these fun battles for possession. Willardson gets it over to Dedesian. Around the defender he goes. Up for the jumper, no good. And a battle along the end line. Who was that out on? It's going to be out on the Mustangs. For correction, out on the Hillers. I spoke too soon. Parlin takes it up. A miss handle there as a steal by Pantera goes coast to coast, draws the foul. I think that was a miscommunication by Medway on that pass. And the Hillers take advantage of it. Sam Pantera having a big night. Now up to 19 points. Can he get number 20? No good. Pulled down by Simon. Medway needs to work very quickly here. White back to Simon, over to the corner, up for three. No good off the back iron goes Reisman. Rebound, Pantera. Over to Ionelli. Up top, DeLuca. Down the lane, draws the foul. Well, Medway was trying to foul quickly there, but good ball distribution by the Hillers to be able to burn some time off the clock. And DeLuca hits the first of two. Anthony DeLuca, James Marcinowski, the big guys in the low post. They had a huge night tonight for the Hillers. Came up with a lot of big rebounds. And DeLuca hits both. Along the far side, Parlin. Up top, White. White up against Ionelli. Over to Simon. Simon trying to feed it over. Stolen away by Willardson to Pantera. To the rack, yes, plus the foul. <laughs> Sam Pantera got in front of Narcissi and could not be caught. And that might have been the finisher, folks. And he hits the and one. Well, I said it's likely that the Hillers won't get 70 tonight. I was wrong. What an offensive explosion by the Hillers in the second half. Up for three. No good there by Parlin. White. No good. Rebound, Emerson King. Hiller's got the backups in. They know they got the victory. Foul drawn there by King. Well, it was a fun, entertaining game tonight. Great performance by the Hillers. They just did extremely well in every facet of the game. Shot well, defended well, rebounded extremely well. King misses the first of two. And the Hillers 34 seconds away from improving to six and two on the season. King hits the second. A 
That's a big statement win from the Hillers. Rebound by Canales. Feeds it up the far side. Brown up top to Canales. Back to Brown. Hiller's just going to try to burn some clock now. And what a win by the Hillers. They're going to take it. A 72 to 56 final. Medway fell behind and just could not catch this potent Hiller offense. The Hillers outscore Medway in the second half, 40 to 30. And it was the low post domination that was the difference maker in this game. The Hillers really just did a great job rebounding on both sides of the ball. And that was really the key in this very impressive victory. Hiller is now six and two on the season. Medway falls to four and five. Your player of the game. Well, we got a couple Sam Pantera. You certainly got to give him some respect as he had a very impressive night. He had 22 points overall. Sam Dejan had a great night with 15 points. And you can't forget about Jack Ionelli, who had 13 points as well for the Hillers. James Marcinowski was big. He put up six points, had a boatload of rebounds. Anthony DeLuca came up with eight points for the Hillers. A great team effort as the Hillers improve to six and two overall. Medway falls to four and five. A big thank you to our crew, Mary Arnott, John Ritz, and Mike Terosian. The final score for the final time, the Hopkinton Hillers victorious over the Medway Mustangs, 72 to 56. From all of us at HCAM, we thank you for watching. Take care, enjoy the rest of your day, and hold on one second, a celebration going on, on, going on uh, out on the court. You know what that celebration is about? It's Coach Keen's 300th win. Congratulations to Coach Keen. He got his 300th career victory. What an unbelievable accomplishment by Coach Keen. He's in his 24th season at the helm. He gets his 300th career win. Congratulations. What a career he has had. And if it was up to me, he would be an instant Hall of Famer the day he retires. But we're going to wrap it up. A great win here on this Friday night for the Hillers. Thank you for watching, everybody. Take care. Enjoy the rest of your night. And we'll talk to you again soon. Goodbye, everybody.